Um, is there any anything? Is there anyone who'd like to do a blessing today? Actually, hold on one second. Dee's do is here. Oh, the uh, he's the captain of the ship around the uh, United States North American continent. And he has, uh, I guess he wants to say something. I'm not sure what. But no hold on. Before you do the blessing, I, I'll bring him in real fast. Awesome. I am Dee's Do, captain of the ship. I heard that someone requested my presence today. Greetings, Dee's Do. This is Broey. Yeah, I, I requested you earlier on today, so thank you Did just you for coming and saying hello. Did you have a question for me? Um, not really, no. I just, I just miss you. I just want to see you and talk to you. I know you're busy. I know that, you, that if it wasn't for you coming through, in 2013, a lot of this wouldn't have always, you know, it wouldn't be the way it was. So maybe it's a bit of a, a, a late I, Christmas. Thanks. I, know. I was the first to come through with Max, yes. Yes. It was my place to be the first. Protocol would say that the captain of the ship would be the first to come through to speak to Max about scientific matters. And since then, I am very proud to say that things have developed very nicely. There have been rough spots along the way. However, we have managed to get through them and ex still expand and grow. At this point, we are not going to stop. We are going to continue to expand and grow until first contact, which will be another growth spurt and in a very different way. So I am very happy and pleased with all the things that are coming along. Even though Mother Earth has been very disruptive, she means very well. She is calming down, but her energies have disrupted many things. But we are getting back into order at this time, and we are very happy to say that things will be even better once things settle. Now, if, if there was any message that I was going to bring to you, it would be that I am very happy that so many of you are talking to Tikur, Nakesh, and Tepe about wonderful things, healings, and things of that nature. We want you to be well so that you can move forward as quickly as possible. It, Tepe has been kept very busy with all of you. In fact, he has become one of the more requested uh, fellows when it comes to the, your channeling sessions. He is now doing a lot of medical work and healing with your people. We are still learning about your physiology and your diseases and things of this nature and how your enzymes and hormones work, but it seems that we are coming to a point where we're able to help at least somewhat every person that we speak to. That gives me great joy because I know when you are in good health that you feel and can react better and the ascension can rise faster. And we are very thankful for that. I personally want to just say that it is an honor to help your people. 
We are working very hard on the especially seismic at this time because there are several different places on the planet where seismic is in question. Also, the weather, of, co of course, is always a challenge. But we are trying to keep as many people out of harm's way as possible and calm down the storms as quickly as possible. It is sometimes very difficult to even begin to calm down a storm because um, we cannot really interfere with nature as nature is, if you understand. We can, after it starts, find ways to bring it to a faster conclusion. But it is hard to uh, understand and because there are so many diversities in how your weather starts to help it to move in a positive way. We can actually help it in some ways, but sometimes that could make it worse instead of better. So we have to wait till it starts to know what to do. Does that make sense to you? So um, we, we are doing our best to keep people out of harm's way. Does, um, does, is there much effect from our own geoengineering? Yes. How do you deal with our geoengineering um, when it comes to um, our atmosphere? Actually, there is some dangers in your geoengineering because it sometimes stirs up a greater amount of energy than it should instead of softening it. So right. we do deal with it as it comes, and we have spoken to the governments of your planet about it and asked if we could possibly help with that, and they have um, suggested that they just send some of the information to us so that we can review it and see if they're doing it properly. Now, yeah. Yeah. we can say yes or no, but that is all we can do. We cannot change any of the algorithms or the way they do things, but we can yeah. say yes, you're on the right track, or no, please do not do that. Mm -hmm. I understand, because I know, the, I know some of the installations actually got shut down. Yes. Um, but I know they got reopened again, and I was wondering why. They're on a better track at this point, yes. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. there has been much damage done by some of them. And so we are helping to try to correct some of that damage. But once Mother Nature is damaged, it takes a while to fix. You cannot just easily put a Band-Aid on it. It's not that way. It has to be fixed in a very proper manner. And right. there are certain okay. energies that are healing and certain energies that are not. And to heal it properly, you must have the proper energy. Interesting. More scientists need to listen to this. <laughs> yes. There are 32 <laughs> kinds of energy. 26 of them, or 27 of them, are actually positive. Okay, there was a question um, uh, from Carolina. Uh, Valerie, would yeah. you like to read it? Or? You allow me the interaction. <laughs> okay. A question for Disney is um, whether there are other ships willing to follow the colony creation and connect with us. Is there other alliances, other groups that also are having a, an experience as, as, as we are? Um, actually, we have, as an alliance, 18 ships around your planet. So there are other alliances that are also working with us in some ways, giving us information and things of this nature. They are not actually putting their hand into the work, such as the helping with weather and things of that nature, but they are giving us recommendations on how to be better equipped for seismic, volcanic, and weather. Now... These other alliances, 
Ashtar Command, the uh, the Alliance of Planets that is uh, several hundred planets in the galaxy. There, but they are not close by actually. But they do give us information. The light workers that have their alliances and the Federation of Light, yes, that's what it's called, and different other associations and colonies and things of that nature that are helping us. We are all attached in the fact that we have one goal, but we do not all work in the same way, and we do not all believe in the same tactics, and we do not all have the same work ethic. So therefore, there are many different ways that people are helping, but we come together to discuss it um, often. And also, the Cassius planet and their population are also very helpful in giving commentary or advice or counsel if necessary and telling us exactly how they see things going. And so that is it is good to see all the different perspectives around the universe and galaxies of what is happening with the Earth, because the Earth is a very important place, of course, a chosen planet, if you will, a, a, cha a planet where much life can result from. And so, therefore, there are many who want to consult with us since we are the one with the hand in the actual helping hand to the planet where others feel that they cannot do such a thing, we are able to. Okay, Tasha has a question. She would like to know the diamond shaped orbs she sees and records at night. Who are they? Yes. The diamond, well, the diamond is for you to find out who they are, but they are someone that is important to you. That is a particular species that will name itself when they are ready. That's the protocol for this particular one. We do not like to name them if they want to remain anonymous at this time, but I will tell you that they are a helpful group and they are not malevolent in any way. Okay, I have another question from Barbara Joy Livingheart. She asks if there has been anything done about the methane gas leaks in California, and if you know what caused it. Mm. Some of that information is classified by your planet and governments, and so I, knowing that, cannot give you all the answers. But yes, they know it caused it, and there is something being done about it. We are also helping in the cleanup of this particular problem. Thank you so much. Much love. Just one last quick, quick one, if I'm, unless anyone else has one, please. Continue. Now, I have expressed before my obsession with nuclear, uh, non-all power, radiation, whatever, I'm, I'm, not, I'm fascinated with the science. Um, it's just been recently um, some footage released about sightings of UFOs at Chernobyl. Yeah. Now, I know there were sightings at, at, um, in Japan of recent, and if what was told um, at Chernobyl, what they did. Um, they the actually UA was helped. They helped. Yes, I, I know exactly what you're referring to. Sightings seen at Chernobyl before the great meltdown, we actually helped it to be less than it was. Also in Japan, whenever they had the meltdowns there with the tsunamis and etc., we were sighted. Some said that we were there to destroy the, the machine, or we caused it, but actually we were there to help it. And many witnessed uh, the saucers there to help the 
reactors not to explode. So was that a, was that a Gurkfik near thing at the time, or was that more of a individual? Um, it was. It was not only Gurkfik near, but other species as well were active in this to help yeah. us with the timeline continuation. If the three reactors would have blown at the same time, the timeline would have been in question, and we could not let that happen. Also, Chernobyl, the sightings at Chernobyl before the, the great explosions, reactors, were also seen. You can now also go to Chernobyl, Chernobyl without radiation being a problem. Do you know that? Yeah, it's actually um, it's actually becoming an absolute um, not a paradise, but it's it's really becoming natural. It's it's actually quite the half life of the radiation was cleaned up quite a bit by forces other than your own. In ah, okay, okay. Yeah, that, 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 you that, understand that, that animal life and plant life have returned to that area. Yeah, very much so. Into actually into proportions where it's like this shouldn't be happening. People are starting exactly. to question, saying that you know what what we, what we theorize on how radiation affects us. They're like, exactly. why are these? We should be expecting. All these it is not natural what is happening there. But the Earth has approved of what we have done. Beautiful. Well, I just want to extend my thanks for the help because I know that was a very stupid experiment that happened at Chernobyl. I don't know what happened exactly at in Japan, if it was what it was, but I know there was a, an experiment going on at Chernobyl which shouldn't have been happening. And, um, yeah, thanks for coming in and helping. Okay. Michelle, did you have a question? Yes, thanks, Val. Hi, Dizdu. Nice to meet you, Michelle. Hello, um, Michelle. So I've had what I can't tell if my mind is playing tricks on me or if when I sometimes look at the stars and they start dancing, if, if that is craft or if I'm just seeing things. <laughs> When the stars start dancing, that means that there is a ship in that area you cannot see. It is invisible, but the energy causes the stars to look like they are dancing because the energy is moving in the, around the ship. Do you understand? I do. So it looks like it'll be like a circle, and then it'll connect energy like in a line, like as in movement. And then it almost looks like it's doing a little dance, so that it is craft then? Yes, moving through the area. Okay, and you know what area I am in? And do we get a lot of activity here? You are, are, are you in the Florida area? I am not. I'm in the Shenandoah Valley area. Ah, well there are three ships around the United States. I was only guessing. Okay. But yes, there is much activity on the west coast, Florida area, and they do pass through your area quite often. Thank you very much. Okay, is that all, Michelle? I believe that I must go. Yes. There are some control issues that I must take care of. Well, thank you very much for your time. We very much appreciate it. And much love. Much love to you, and continue to move forward. Yes. Blessings and safe trip. Thank you, Diz, to you for everything and uh, everything that Gert Fitnir do from the deepest of our hearts and, and yes. from energies we don't even understand. Please, please allow us to show our appreciation for everything. You've done the last few years, and um, let's let's carry on the good work. Thank you, Disney. Yes. Very well. Thank you, brother. Much love. Thank you. Namaste. Okay. Goodbye, all. Just want to say, um, 
Happy New Year, 2016. Um, uh, it, it, obviously, there is the websites. Um, I think we've got three websites at the moment. Um, the main one is humancolony.org. There's another one, a new one called the, the Ning Forum. So we have another more interpersonal way of talking and chatting about things. So if you if you um, Google Hukalo Ning, you will find that, or go to Hukalo Ning. And there's also a a, a Gurk dash fit dash n i i r dot com website as well. So there's a little bit of segregation with websites at the moment, but whatever one you resonate with the most, please go to that. Most updates will be on the the, the main human colony because it's WordPress and we can update that really really easily. And um, I look forward to seeing you there at um, Karen's um, webinar next week for Hukalo. So thank you very much, everybody. And um, we we'll hopefully see you next week for chat in the week and have some, a little bit of fun. Yes, and welcome back, Jim. Thank yes. you. Thank you for everything today. Your time has been so appreciated. You brought through so many entities and brought through so many answers. We all appreciate it so much and give you so oh. much love. Hey, it's uh, I feel very blessed to be able to work this way. So thank you. Well, thank you everybody for joining us. Everybody on YouTube, um, everybody who will join us later at a different date. Um, we appreciate everybody's watching and learning. And please join us again soon. Very good. Have a great day, everybody. Much and love. Thank you to yes. Valerie as well. Much love. Thank you, Valerie, for, for coming yeah, in and doing you, this. Yeah, thank you, Valerie and Rowie. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Rowie. Valerie. <laughs> it really means a lot because Sabrina, Sabrina for me is uh, is, a, is a rock. You know, when we do the do the events, so to have someone um, of of her caliber um, to do this with is is really special. So. Special thanks to me as well, Valerie. Thank you, and thank you thank for helping you. me with everything today. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Much love, everybody. Okay, much yeah. love. Till next time. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs> Till next All right, now. bye bye. I go watch Star Wars. And everybody. so it is. Go watch Star oh, Wars. Oh, Star Wars. They're actually <laughs> paying me to say that. But... <laughs> they're paying you for that. <laughs>